What's good guys, today we're covering a build guide for the Psychonetic Psyker aka the Space Wizard. I want to take a quick moment right now just to thank everybody for the ongoing support. This is a new channel, I did not expect it to be going anywhere near as well as it is. Honestly, my mind is absolutely blown. So again, thank you so much for the support. Okay, so to start things off, we're going to be going through the talent choices that we've made. Moving forward with an assumption that you understand the basics of the class. If you don't, feel free to ask down in the comments down below. I'll do my best to get back to you ASAP. We'll then cover the weapons and equipment choices we're making and summarize it all up at the end of the video. If you want to skip to a certain part, there should be uh, time segments in the play. I don't know what you call them, but uh, you can go through the video if you want. Oh, and by popular request, I will also be including a gameplay showcase on Malice difficulty. Okay, so our first talent is Essence Harvest. This gives us 30% of our total toughness over five seconds upon gaining a warp charge, which we will be getting a lot of with this build. The level 10 talent, Inner Tranquility, 6% peril resistance per warp charge. Again, we're going to be stacking this up real good. It allows us to use our warp abilities, aka our staff and brain burst, very frequently. Psychic Communion. Whenever you or an ally in coherency kills an enemy, you have a 4% chance to gain a warp charge. In higher difficulties, this procs a butt turn. The level 20 talent line, I would say you can actually go for any one of the three. They're all really, really powerful. My personal preference is Kinetic Shield. Take between 10 and 33 reduced damage against your toughness, only against ranged attacks, and this is based on your current warp charges. I like this a lot because I absolutely hate ranged enemies with a passion. You then have Kinetic Deflection, which allows you to use Peril when blocking, which is kind of cool. You can block for a very long time with block efficiency on this one. And then Mind in Motion just allows you to quell Peril without being slowed down. As for the 25 talent, we've gone for Warp Battery, can store up to six charges. This is great because we get, of course, Peril Resistance based on our Warp Charges. And of course, we do an extra 3% damage per charge. So there's a total of six extra damage with this one. But there's also another reason we've picked this talent. And that is because we're going Ascendant Blaze. Essentially, we are just going to apply a stack of Soul Blaze, which is a burn over time tick to enemies that are hit by our ultimate ability. And the damage is based on how many stacks of warp we have. So the more, the merrier. And as a added little bonus, any enemy that we kill with Soul Blaze from any source will have a 10% chance to give us a warp charge back. This again procs very frequently. And if you're using the uh, Flame Staff, well, good news, that is also Soul Blaze damage. And speaking of the staff, time to move into the equipment and have a look at what we're going for here. Now, for the melee weapon, I highly recommend going with the Four Sword. Reason being, it's just a really damn good weapon overall, but also as a Psyker, we can do a couple of unique things with it. First is we can quell our Peril, which is really, really handy, meaning we don't have to swap back to the staff to do so if we're in a melee you know situation secondly we have the ability to charge the sword up and deal devastating single target damage when it comes to modifiers i think you just want to go for a nice balance across the board nothing specific here to target perks block efficiency is very nice to go for the second one maybe some flat damage or attack speed not too important but block efficiency is fantastic and that's because the blessing that i hard recommend that you have on this weapon is deflector allows you to both block melee and ranged attacks with your sword really useful really good and you pair that up with the block efficiency and you're having a good time especially if you've gone with kinetic deflection you can basically block forever as for the second blessing again really it's not super important but something that increases your damage is always nice moving on to the staff now i do recommend the fire staff above all others however the lightning staff is a very close second the difference between them being really that the fire staff is better at large horde control and the lightning staff being more focused toward elite control now the lightning staff has some excellent cc it has a very long stun that it applies to the targets it does hit but the fire staff has incredible stagger and can cover a large amount of area and just provides a ton of utility to teams as for modifiers everything besides damage is the focus here the difference in having like 0% damage and 100% damage is like 4. So it's really not that big a deal. If I had to say there was one that's the most important, probably burn followed by warp resistance and then quell speed. Cloud radius, it's nice to have it, but like at the end of the day, it's still going to do its job. You can just sort of shake it all over the screen and you'll be fine. As for perks, 
I recommend having some damage against Gronos and Poxwalkers. This is Horde. The second one may be something more targeted towards damaging elites, just to help you to burn them down as this doesn't have like the highest damage in the game. As for blessings, the one I highly recommend having at the very least is Terrifying Barrage. This suppresses enemies within 5 meters of you on a close range kill, goes up to 8 meters actually. This is fantastic, it just immobilizes everything around you and if you're burning a Horde, you're going to be getting a whole bunch of kills and this thing is just going to be procking all the time. You can go for the channeling blessing that just stops you from being interrupted when you're hit basically does more or less the same thing i just think barrage has more utility for your team that are standing near you as for the next one again anything that just increases the flat damage of this is going to be perfect but don't sweat it if the second one isn't that good now when it comes to curios i always say the same thing always make sure to have at least one wound you want to go for flat health flat toughness and then after that you want to go for cooldown reduction and then just any kind of damage reduction against specific enemies like here we have damage resistance to tox flamers okay so how does this build work what is the play style first of all you're going to be very close to the front line the staff does not have a huge amount of range controlling hordes is your primary objective but you should not be afraid to pop out the brain burst to take out some high priority targets that are on their way in if you have the time to do so obviously don't let the horde swarm you when you're in a situation where you're being hit it's always recommended to at least switch to the melee to clear the things out off of you don't fall into the bad habit of thinking the staff is the only weapon you can use when it comes to your warp stacks obviously you want to keep them as high as possible at all times this can be difficult but during the quieter parts of a map make sure you're trying to get the odd brain burst off to keep those at least not at zero now when it comes to alt usage i have two recommendations you want to pocket it for basically whenever the situation is getting a little too spicy and you just need to knock everything back and get a ton of AoE damage out or you're at very high peril and you're not going to be able to quell. Now, but usually both of these things happen at the same time. So it's just about building up that sort of awareness of the class and when to use it. And that is it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And if there are any questions that you have about the build or any recommendations, please do share them in the comments below. And until next time, I guess I'll smell you later.
charged! <laughs> 